Scott was, you know, which medications cause dystonia? And I'm not going to hop into this too deeply because it's honestly, it's not my area of expertise, but from what I, from what they were talking about in the, in the workshops and some of the things that I've seen in my practice is that you can have a drug induced dystonia. Um, it can be acute or it can be what's called tardive or delayed onset. But if you recognize that you take a medication and then your dystonia gets worse, um, you need to be talking to your movement disorder specialist about that symptom because it can be, um, you know, addressed by either going off the medication, changing medications. So if you're noticing that you take a medication and things are getting worse and not better, I hope that that would trigger you to talk to your physician because it's not working for you. Um, and even if you notice that you start a new medication, but you didn't develop those worsening symptoms until a few weeks later, a few months later, it's still important to talk to your doctor because it can sometimes have a delayed onset of that worsening of symptoms.